guys, and welcome to another episode of Spoiled! I'm Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, and with me as always is the lovely... Tiptastic! Yes, and we are here to talk about a movie that we have seen, and we want to share that with you. And we would love to see your opinions or hear your opinions of the movie um, as well. see an opinion? When they put it down in the comment section. Okay. Yeah, because that's their opinion, and I'm sure that they're going to put lots and lots of opinions down there. Um, hey, guys, so uh, today we're talking about the movie The House, and um, it stars Will Ferrell mm -hmm. and uh, Amy Poehler. And uh, so we uh, we saw this movie over the weekend, and we wanted to talk about it. And so if you have not seen The House and you're thinking about going to see it, you may not want to watch the video because we are going to talk about spoilers and we're going to talk about the plot and all those kind of things. Um, unless you just don't care, and then you can stick around and you know you can send us your eight bucks, okay? <laughs> For we can act out the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can be like Will Ferrell and be like, "You do not treat me that way." But, okay. So um, so we're going to talk about it, all right? And so here we go. Spoilers. You've been warned, and the camera is off, so here we go. Well, it is because you keep moving your head. And All right, the thing in the so, background. well, here we go. Now we're good. All right, back to the t subject at hand, all right, and that is the house. Okay. Tiffany, what was your first impression of the house? I thought it was hilarious, and I could not stop laughing. It was It was pretty funny. Yes, it, it was. was pretty funny. I am a sucker for Will Ferrell. Yes, well, I, Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, and... I'm sorry, I can't remember the other guy's name, but he is Research, Brooklyn... gotta do your research. I know, but Brooklyn Nine-Nine, he is hilarious. Yes. And after seeing him in this movie, I want to see more of him because he is even funnier after seeing him in this. He is just hilarious. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we did our research. It's Jason Manzoukas. <laughs> He's a pretty funny guy. He's on uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and the dude plays crazy really well. Very well. Very well. Um, so, if you don't know what this movie is about, it is about uh, a husband and wife, Amy Poehler and uh, Will Ferrell, and they have a daughter, a teenage daughter, who's just graduating from high school, and they are wanting to send her to college, and she's very excited about going to college, she's already picked out the college she wants to go to, and they live in a community where uh, the community gives out a scholarship every year to uh, one excellent student and gives them a full ride. Yep. To college, and so it comes to them, and their daughter wins it. But there's kind of a, a crooked, uh, um, shysty mayor. Shy, he's not a he's not the mayor because it was more like a township. So he was like kind of like the head of the, um, uh, the board of. Uh, Regardless, Kroll anyway. plays him, and he is not very nice man, no. and he messes them over and. She does not get the scholarship. Yeah. So the parents are forced to make other ways to yes. not disappoint their daughter. So they want to still make, you know, they don't want to tell her, no, you can't go to college because she's yes. worked her uh, self ragged trying to get into college. And now she finally made it and they don't want to say no. So yeah. they find other ways. So this movie is a movie that um, I wouldn't promote some of the things that people do in this movie. Yes. Uh, like trying to. Uh, I mean, have... there's 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 drug use. There's you know, uh, gambling. Gambling. <laughs> there's there's uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in this movie, but um, the premise is a is a funny premise, and uh, so they're looking for a way to do this. Uh, the gentleman whose name I just said a couple of minutes. Manzukis. <laughs> Manzukis. Uh, he plays a guy who's going through a divorce. And he's at his wit's end, and he's had a tr problem with gambling and stuff. And so they're all talking. He comes up with this brilliant idea to start a casino in his house. He's struggling with it, but if he's not doing it, he's helping others. <laughs> yeah, so he has a mortgage on his house that's getting ready to be foreclosed yeah. on. So he needs help, too, and so... Yeah, and so, uh, so they go about trying to make the money to send the daughter to college... And him for his house. Him for his house, and he's trying to get back with his ex-wife. Well, it's not his ex-wife, his wife. Uh, she's just moved out. There's that fly again. Um, anyways, uh, so there's a lot of funny stuff that just ensues. I mean, they start a casino, and everything that goes on with that ends up being a fight club. Yep. Uh, which is really funny. And because uh, they got uh, moms fighting it out <laughs> in the ring. And... Uh, and guys fighting, you know, and like the whole neighborhood, the, the whole neighborhood comes out and they're placing bets and stuff. And um, it was just, it was just a funny movie. I don't really have a lot to say about it. 
No, I mean, because if you say anything, it's pretty much taken the funny lines away from the movie. But it's just one of those funny movies. But it is, it's not like, you know, it's, you know, some people could say it's stupid funny because it's Will Ferrell, yeah. but it's it's still a funny movie. Like, we left laughing, like, your stomach hurts, your, your yeah. head hurts, It's you're laughing it's it's funny comedy. They they basically take it way too seriously. They get way in, too involved yeah. because I mean it's a Will Ferrell movie, right? And so they get way too involved. They you know they they start taking it really serious. They're they, you know they're they're dressing the deep. part you know like it's a real casino or something like that. And then they start expanding in in the house, which is really funny. Like having you know having a buffet and having uh and you know you can get massages and nail techs and this and, and yeah, that. And a it's salon like, so it's and like trying to make it more Vegas. Yeah, in and the there's house. a pool and all this stuff. And being from Vegas originally myself is really funny to see some of those things uh you know play out there and see you know that you know people will definitely go to underground gambling facilities if they are available and They're so like, hey if it's either this or a book club hmm yeah and i thought it was funny so <laughs> they, they they catch a guy uh counting cards yeah and so they go after him and they accidentally end up cutting his finger off to try to send a message <laughs> try to send him but it was an accident because they were just threatening but him. nobody else knows it so they're like oh yeah yeah here's the money i owe you <laughs> yeah and so they end up uh it ends up that, that guy works for uh renner what's his first name jeremy renner jeremy renner uh who okay. plays this like yeah who plays this uh like mob boss kind of guy and they, they end up coming and and uh trying to uh shake him down and <laughs> and it was really funny how how Jeremy Renner gets taken out. I mean, just uh, series of unfortunate events. Put series it that way. <laughs> of unfortunate events that deal with fire. But before that, um, uh, Kroll comes. He's the guy who's Nick, pl- Kroll. Nick Kroll. He plays the uh, um, the city superintendent or whatever who you know runs the the uh, city board meetings or whatever. And so he's really upset because they end up finding out about the underground gambling casino. And uh, he has been embezzling money from the town, mm-hmm. and he also because well, he's friends with one of the sheriffs, and the sheriff yep. doesn't under doesn't like what he's what the, what what the uh, the board member guy is doing. Yeah. And so he actually is trying to he's because he didn't agree with not doing the scholarship, and so it was yeah. one of those things where he was trying to help. So they ended up coming, taking all the money, and then uh, you know, and then they burned down the place. <laughs> And get the money back, anyways, and uh, and all's well with the world. And she gets to go to college. And uh, uh, was it Mansowitz? Mans. Manzuka. Manzuka, gets back with his uh, with his wife. It's like you trying to say M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalamadong, Shyamalamading dong. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it's a funny movie. Um, like she said, like Tiffany said, it's a it's one of those just kind of stupid comedies. That if you're looking, but it makes you laugh. If you're looking for some highbrow Christian programming, this not, it's this is not it. Not the show. Um, but but it, if you're looking to like belly laugh, just like I need to just forget about stuff, laugh, and just like forget about things today. This is the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a funny movie. It's it it really is a funny movie, and yeah. uh, and if so if you like Saturday Night Live, people will feral Amy Poehler that kind of thing. Then this is the show. Yeah, you'll like it. So, um, so what? Who cares? So what? Who cares? So what? you gonna do about it? I don't know. Anyway, so we really liked it. Uh, and uh, Tiffany, yes. Out of five, five being the greatest, one being the lowest. Throw your dice, and what do you roll for this movie? I roll a five because I'm a an actual I'm a Will Ferrell and wow, you comedy. rolled a five on this movie. I actually liked it. I thought it was okay. funny. It was comedy. It was like, w- when it comes to that kind of comedy stuff, I liked it. And I liked it because Manzuka knocked it out of the park for me. Yes. I thought it was hilarious. Okay. It had great parts to it. Trust me. It really did. Uh, but when I roll on this one, I got to roll a three. Um, it was funny. Is it something, though, that I'm going to want to watch again later? Probably not. Like, you know, I mean, there's some movies that, like, you, you really want to, you want to revisit them. You look forward to revisiting them at some point. And there's Will Ferrell movies that I look forward to, you know, revisiting. I mean, I think of, like, Talladega Nights or, like, Step Brothers or Anchorman, right? I mean, those are movies that you, you can quote and you go back to. This movie, for me, was funny, but it wasn't something that, like, I'm going to probably watch again. You know, it was funny for the moment. I'm glad I went and saw it. It was fu- It was fun. Um, but I would give it a three. So, have you seen the house? Not to be confused. Not to be confused with the '80s horror movie series House. 
or the uh, the Doctor series from the early two thousands, House, or or you know the the movie Roadhouse. 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 Uh, no, just uh, the house. Have you seen this movie? What did you think of the movie? Let us know down in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up because I hear that that does something here on YouTube to make it better. And uh, we would love to hear your opinions. All right. So let us know. Thanks so much. Again, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett. And with me is... Tiptastic. And we will see you next time on Spoiled. Spoiled.